put me in focus. We are finally in focus. We are in focus. We are in focus. We are in focus. Hello you beautiful people, my name is Moise B and welcome back to my bubble. Today we're going to be talking about different types of people at uni. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get to the video. Let's get to the video. Let's get to the video. I have just graduated from university and over my three years there I've done a lot of people watching so this is what I have come up with to see the different types of people that there are at university. Number one, the Beanock, also known as the big name on campus. Now this person may be known for either a positive or a negative reason. So you could be walking down campus and you just see call me and you're like Days. And they're just walking down campus like How are you doing? Yeah, they are just a big name on campus People be like, oh my gosh, did you see what Jessica was wearing? Yeah, dude, like, who does she think she is? I don't know, but I'm totally gonna ask her where she got her concealer from It looks so good Yeah, I'm not really feeling it to be honest with you should have seen her last night. Ugh. Okay, some people love them, some people hate them. You're a big name. You're pretty much a Kim Kardashian on campus. Get over it. Number two, the study nerd. Now this person you will mostly find in the library. If they're not in the library, then they're in their lecture room. If they're not in the lecture room, they'll be in the library. They spend most of their time just studying. It's as if they don't want to socialise with actual human beings and they rather socialise with a textbook. You'll never see this person other than if you are in the library. Which most people aren't actually. Number three, the clubbing animal. So this person, partying and clubbing is just so important to them. It is pretty much their full time job. Monday clubbing, Tuesday clubbing, Wednesday clubbing, Thursday clubbing, Friday clubbing, Saturday clubbing, Sunday, you got it, clubbing. Coming to university and doing their degree is a part-time thing. Some people actually take clubbing more serious than their actual degree. You'll just see them at their lecture like, Sophie, are you researching the question? Susan just told us. Nah, just looking for a new outfit for tomorrow night. You're going out again tomorrow. Don't be silly, of course I'm going out again tomorrow and tonight. Might not be on the lecture on Friday though. I'll sign you in B. I don't know how they do it. I actually rate your liver to be able to support all this amount of alcohol that's in it every single day. Every day clubbing. Every single day. Number four. The broke life. Now this is the kind of person where they can never do anything because they're just always broke. You'd be like, oh hey, do you want to grab some pizza tonight? Nah, 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 I can't, innit? Why not? Ain't got no peas, bruv. Ain't got no peas. But you said that last week. Man's broke out here. But it's payday. Nah, man, can't, I can't. And broke. Broke life. I actually don't get it. You don't go out. You don't get takeaway. You don't go out to restaurants. You don't take people on dates. How can you be so broke? Yeah, it's payday. And I know you work. And I know that student loan's dropped. So what do you mean, the broke life? I don't get it, are you building a secret kingdom somewhere that I don't know about? Are you secretly building a rocket to take you onto the moon? <laughs> Some people are so broke that they can't buy toilet paper and they'd rather steal toilet paper from the uni. But yet these times, you don't spend your money. I don't understand. Number five. <laughs> the high life. Now I want to say about 80% of people at uni could be wrong. I don't know anything about statistics, statistics, but I do know that a lot of people at university likes to get high. You'll probably see someone and you'll just think, oh look at them, they're in such a good mood in their own world, like until you then find out that they're just really high or you'll look at somebody and think, 
bruh, you have got a good appetite again. Just high, got the munchies. Like, a lot of people like to live that high life and they will go to lectures high. I don't know if it's like a trend that's going through unis nowadays, but just a lot of people like to be high. Number six, the bitter life. Now this person is that they are constantly sucking on lemons, just so bitter about everything. Like they'll have to let you know that this was like their third or fifth choice and you know they didn't really want to be here or it could be something small like oh that person's got a really nice top and so they're hating because they think that that, that top would look nicer on them. Shut your mouth, sit down and enjoy life. No need to be so angry man. Number seven, the rich life. Okay, now this person will come from a wealthier background, but they won't make it so obvious. It will be so subtle and you'd have to pay so much close attention to the person to be like, bruh, you have got money. <laughs> Story time. Okay, so I remember when I was at uni and the new, I think it was the Apple Watch or the um, AirPods, I'm not entirely sure, just came out and we had a break and everybody was like talking about it. Come lunchtime, and two people in my class just went off to buy lunch and they come back in and one of them just walks in with a new like Apple watch or um, AirPods and this person just went and casually went and bought one and came in like number eight the ghost now the question is that you ask yourself is does this person actually still come to uni is this person actually still getting a degree? Because they're just never here. Like, you will just never see them. You'll probably see them at the beginning of the semester and maybe at the end of the semester. But they're just never, ever in the lectures. It, they're just non-existent. They're a complete ghost. Number nine. The Snapchatter. This person, just get it from the title, will Snapchat everything you could be sitting at home ill on your bed and you won't miss out anything because they'll snapchat every single moment of their day what they had for breakfast what they had for lunch what's going on in their lecture how they're feeling about stuff maybe even going to the toilet who knows they just snapchat everything you cannot be somewhere and still feel like you're there they're absolutely great number 10 they're uncomfortable now <laughs> This person is somebody that will just really make you feel uncomfortable, like they'll invade your space, they'll always come and give you hugs, they think that they're super close to you when in reality you probably can't even remember their name. They just don't really have spatial awareness and they'll always be up in your bubble, like you have your bubble, you have your space and they're just always up and close, like why do we have to be so close, just let me... <sighs> breathe. We'll be sitting there and I'll be like, oh I'm thirsty, you take a sip of your drink and they're this type of person that you will always try and avoid on campus, like you might be walking and you can see them and you're like, oh my lecture's there but they're standing there, it's fine, I will walk a whole 45 minutes around the whole of campus to get there because I really don't want to see you, I really don't want to talk to you and I don't want to be made uncomfortable. So, number 11, saving the planet. Now when I say saving the planet, I'm not talking about reusable bags, getting rid of plastic, any of that. I mean saving water, aka not showering, therefore very, very, very smelly. This person is so smelly that you could probably smell them from about a mile away. Like the closer they get to you, it starts burning your eyes. And you don't want to be rude, although you might. You might be a bit like up front, but you might subtly say personal hygiene is really good for health and what your well being or something. And you might spray yourself and be like, Do you want some? Do you want some? Really subtly putting it in there. But the bottom line is either this person's scared of water. Or they're saving the planet. If everyone else around you can smell it, but you yourself, you can't smell it, there's a problem. There's a problem and we should probably go get that checked out. Number 12, the Starbucks. The Starbucks is somebody that has always got a coffee. They'll come to the lecture in the morning with the Starbucks in their hand or a coffee in their hand. And in the break, 
they'll go come back coffee this it's like their fuel is physically only coffee like they won't drink water and it's not even like they're taking coffee and they're like ooh, like bouncing with energy it's sort of just like Well, that's it from me today guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed that video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and share with the rest of your world have a blessed day don't worry i'll be back lots of love and